The member for Miramichi in the gallery. Mr. Speaker, I've received multiple complaints in the past uh, concerned that there's no current full-time clerk in the courthouse in Miramichi. It's putting a strain on our system, and they feel the turnaround time is too slow, and it's affecting family files and probate files. If you don't have a clerk to move things along, it's going to cause a lot of frustration, a lot of mon loss of money as well. We reach out to the minister's office, and we're told that they do strive to provide high level of service, but didn't co comment on the loss of the clerk. Our clerk in Miramichi has been removed from the courthouse and replaced with a casual employee and lawyer that's only there part-time. And without a clerk in a very hectic environment, we're not achieving the high level of service. The number of cases are going up and the work is piling up quickly. Can the Minister of Justice please tell me what is happening with the clerk's position in Miramichi and when the position will be filled? The Minister of Justice and Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, the uh, administration of justice is, is done through the public service. It is done in cooperation with the judiciary. Uh, it is not done on the floor of the legislature uh, for political posturing. Uh, these positions are based upon caseload, they are based upon volume, they are based upon the speed at which things move, and I will uh, look into it for the uh, member. I uh, don't mind doing that, but I want her to know that it is not the position of the Minister of Justice to run around and tell the public service, the judiciary, and how they should staff uh, their particular uh, offices on any particular time. Uh, maybe that's other people do that, but that's not what this government does. This government operates on efficiency, value for service, and getting the thing.